Hello and welcome back to another video and this is another video which I will be going over a type of skill. Last time I did the tornado rain skill but today I'm going to be talking about the thunderstorm risk scale. First thing I want to talk about is what exactly makes a thunderstorm sphere and how probabilities forecasts are made with these thunderstorm forecasts. When it comes to severe storms, the National Weather Service defines a severe storm with either damaging winds with 58 mile power winds or more, hail which is one inch in diameter or larger, and also tornadoes. The Storm Prediction Center or SPC issues day one, two, and three outlooks which can have forecasted days of non-severe and also severe weather uh, outlooks. For severe weather days, the probabilities which are forecasted which show estimates slash predictions of a severe weather event occurring within any 25 miles of a point. But uh, yeah. Now it's time to get to the risk scale. This is the first category on the scale. Now these are the regular type of everyday storms which you would see like during the spring and summer. Maybe even like in the fall too actually if I really think about it. Which have lots of rain and come with thunder and lightning but are not necessarily going to be severe or expected to be severe. This is the first severe weather rating on the scale, which generally is the type of risk which still has a low chance of having isolated severe weather and can have isolated severe weather, but the severe weather is very limited in duration, coverage, and intensity. Severe storms on my original risk day will generally be unorganized compared to a slight risk, which is the next risk on our scale that we're going to be talking about. This is the second severe weather rating on a scale with a slight risk of severe weather in which storms are more likely to going to be spread out but still scattered because of a more organized system which can be a lot more favorable for tornadoes compared to a system which is or unorganized with a uh, marginal risk day. This is the first severe risk on the scale which we are going to be talking about which has a higher risk of storms which cover more area and are completely organized compared to the first two risks that we were talking about, which the marginal risk, of course, was all going organized, and then slight risk was, which was scattered. Uh, with an enhanced risk, the potential for tornadoes, frequent lightning, damaging winds of up to more than up to 70 miles per hour, or even more sometimes, and hail up to one to two inches is, of course, possible with these, because of the atmosphere on the day of an enhanced risk is a little bit more, as I talked about, organized. Alright, this is a risk on a scale which this uh, severe weather risk is a risk rating which storms are more likely to be expected to be widespread with very, very strong storms which can be numerous with intense tornadoes that are also numerous and intense while being also long track tornadoes because of the conditions. Winds are also likely to be in excess of 70 miles per hour and also of course large hail. Shout out to Max Velocity by the way, probably my most uh, favorite weather channel and forecaster on YouTube. All right, this is the highest risk and also the final risk on our list for the thunderstorm risk scale. So just like the tornado scale, this is the highest. And on a high risk day, you're expected to have widespread storms with tornadoes are expected to be long track and of course, very strong as well which high risk days are also very notorious for having tornado outbreaks and are also very rare, unlike all the other risks on this list, which high risk days only may happen up to one to two times a year because of how, uh, how rare they are and how the conditions on a high risk day would have to be very specific to be able to happen and also, of course, the conditions to have these type of days which have long track tornadoes. So, a day in history, which was on April 7th, 2011, which uh, was a tornado outbreak that had a high risk day, which had a uh, day that had six EF5s in that year. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you all found this video uh, very interesting or informational or, uh, or both. If you have any recommendations of what you would want me to do next, let me know down in the comment section down below. And I will see you all in the next one.